doing something a little different today. Today we're gonna be using my new cookie cutters. I actually have cookie cutters here. There's dog paws and there are dog bones, four different sizes of dog bones. And we're gonna use them today and I am going to make dog biscuits. Zoe's gonna love them. We're actually gonna start by preheating our oven to 375. Now the recipe I found said you could do 350, so if you're already using 350, go for it. And Kiwi apparently wants some attention today. Shall we look out and say, hi Kiwi. So for this recipe, you are gonna need baking sheets. Now I was worried about it because the recipe actually said, make sure you use parchment paper because, because they will stick. I actually use a silicone baking mat all the time and they do just fine on the silicone baking mat. So you basically want to make sure you have at least parchment paper or a silicone baking mat on your thing. I actually have a large silicone mat that I also will use for rolling out our dough. So here we go. For this recipe, we don't need a whole lot. We are going to need pumpkin. We only need seven ounces and this is a 15 ounce can. If you want to, you can measure it out or you can just eyeball the seven ounces. We're going to need cinnamon, two eggs, salt, water, and flour. And then they do actually recommend that you use your dough hook, so I will be using my KitchenAid and the dough hook. So let's get going. So as I said, your can of pumpkin is 15 ounces. You actually only need seven ounces, which is a little bit less than half a can. So I'm just gonna go ahead and eyeball it. I give Zoe a little bite of pumpkin every night, so I usually have it in the refrigerator, and if I do, then I will go ahead and I will measure it at that point. And she's sitting here beside me wanting some pumpkin, so I had to give her some of that. Oh my word, I actually forgot one of the most important ingredients. You need three tablespoons of butter, which is a quarter of a cup. I'm just gonna pop that right on in there. Next, I'm gonna need three cups of flour. And they actually do say, please use whole wheat flour for this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop my three cups of flour in. There's one. There's two, and there's three. And I'm not being very exact about it. In case you notice, I'm not being very exact about it. I'm going to need two eggs. If you would like, you can do four egg whites, but I just don't have, I don't have a reason for the yolks. to put my both of my eggs in and then I'm going to need a half teaspoon of cinnamon it's like a zoo in here today because kiwi is not shutting up and Zoe it keeps hitting my tripod welcome to the zoo Zoe stop get away Last but not least, we're gonna add water. Now we're gonna need actually between a quarter of a cup and a half of a cup. So I'm just gonna start with a quarter of a cup and basically what we're gonna do is I'm going to mix this until it is the consistency of like a pie dough. So let's go ahead and turn it on and I'm gonna let it mix for a little bit. It might help if I have it plugged in. I got rid of Zoe by giving her a piece of ice. So we're gonna let that mix here. And I can tell I am going to have to add more water. So we're going to go ahead and add more water in. There we go, you can see it's starting to clump together and it's starting to become more of a high crust consistency. So I've turned 
my dough out onto the board. You can see it's a pretty decent consistency. And at this point, we have two different methods that we can use to make our biscuits. So the first, so the first way would be to actually just roll it out into like a log, plain and simple. We're just gonna put it into a log. And you can do this in as a smaller, as smaller if you have a smaller dog. But we have a Newfoundland, so we're going to do ours in about a, a, the size of a quarter log. And then once that is done, I'm just going to grab, once that's done, I'm just going to grab my pan and I'm just going to cut these, I'm just gonna cut them out. Now, they are going to go into a shape that's very not round-like, but it's you get the idea, and Zoe doesn't seem to care. That's the beauty of baking for a dog. She doesn't care if it's a little bit not round. She just wants the, the goodness. And you wanna cut them in maybe about a quarter of an inch to a half an inch in, in thickness. and then just lay them flat. They are not on your pan. They are not going to rise and spread like normal cookies, so you don't really have to worry about them being far apart. They can be right up against each other. So the next method you can use is to use a rolling pin. And I'm going to roll mine out. And once again, you want to do them about a half, about a quarter to a half an inch in thickness. And then you can take your cookie cutters. And I have the absolute cutest sets of cookie cutters that I just got in the mail. There are actually also paws and circles, but I'm just going to do the dog bones. And you could do them in whatever size. If I want to give a really big treat for Zoe, I could do a really big one. If I wanted to do a really tiny treat, I can do a really tiny treat. Now the cookie cutter does come with the with a little thing that you can help push it out. And in that way you can make the cutest little dog biscuits. And we can just do them and you can decide which ones you like the best size. I think that would be a perfect size for a treat, wouldn't you think? And in this way, we can just go ahead and make our, our biscuits. So yes, these biscuits are a bit of a labor of love. I imagine if I did the bigger ones, it would be a little bit faster. Did a little bit bigger and that was a little faster. But like I said, I'm gonna stick with this size because these are kind of treats that she doesn't need to have huge ones. And now she's barking. So now it's time, we're gonna go ahead and put these in the oven for 30 minutes. We'll start checking them at 30 minutes. I want mine to be hard, so it'll probably be closer to 45 minutes. And now it's time to clean up. Can you hear Eden? She loves the biscuits. Mm -hmm. She absolutely loves the biscuits. Mm -hmm.